When I would go to the bedroom, he would have a, you know, either his shotgun in the bed. or In the have, bed? Yes, or even his 357. In the bed? Yes. When did you tell someone, or when did they find out, and why did it take so long? Was there the stigma just, of shame and... Yeah, it, it, it was. And he would always tell me, this is, this is what we're going through. You don't have to tell the world, it's, it's about us. And so I felt like, okay, okay, this, this is our situation, we can get through it. And I remember it started to get really, really tough. It's like, I didn't know if he came home, I didn't know whether to be sitting, I didn't know whether to be standing, and I just, it, it started to become overwhelming for me. Because and, you didn't know what was gonna trigger and, him. Yeah, I know, exactly. And it was starting to get confusing because on the basketball court, things was great. I was doing my thing, and it's like, in my personal life, it's like I couldn't get a grasp on it. And he's like, you know, you, you know, you go on to speak and you do anything, you fool these people, you're not who you think you are. And I remember my tutor in college, and we used to work out together, and I just one day just broke down there. She said, what's wrong? I said, I'm just a terrible wife. She said, what are you talking about? I'm like, I can't do anything right. I can't cook right. He's never happy with what I'm doing. I can't make this man that I know love me happy. 